Hello everyone, it's your boy Crocodile Death Speed and you're watching the Exploding Fish channel. Today I'm going to talk uh, to you about my favorite summer salad recipe that's maybe my favorite salad recipe of all time. It's a salad that's great when it's hot outside, it's uh, really refreshing, that's why I, I call it the perfect summer salad. I've heard it being called uh, Turkish salad, Greek salad, Israeli salad, Lebanese salad, uh, shepherd salad also. Um, well, it's uh, obviously a salad from the Mediterranean zone. Uh, Mediterranean zone, the spiciest uh, sonic level. So what have we got here? We've got one cucumber, uh, we've got four tomatoes, middle size, average size, three red onions. Uh, it's You need a lot of onions to make it really good, in my opinion. So uh, I'm, I'm using three red onions, uh, some diced feta, so you need a little bit of feta, don't put too much in it, but this uh, should be the right amount. And then you gotta have a lot of herbs. So uh, here's a decent amount of parsley, here's a decent amount of cilantro, aka coriander. So I am aware that some people have a weird genetic defect that makes uh, for them cilantro taste like soap, uh, it's very sad. And uh, if you have that uh, that genetic issue that that makes cilantro taste like like soap for you, uh, I, I advise you replace it by maybe um, Thai basil or more parsley or I don't know. You'll figure something out. Uh, but yeah, uh, more parsley and some Thai basil or just regular basil could do the trick try tell me uh personally i i have normal genes <laughs> and i fucking love cilantro i think it's the best herb so uh, i'm gonna use the regular thing so uh yeah cilantro a nice amount and a bit of mint so you don't want to put too much mint or you it's gonna be sour uh you, you just want to put a, a, a small amount of mint so uh, let's uh, let's dive right in and uh, do the recipes. Oh, and also before I forget, not pictured here, but very very important, tantamount to uh, the recipe. You need olive oil, uh, a lot of lemon juice, and some cracked black pepper. That's optional. You don't have to use the the, the pepper. Uh, personally, I prefer this salad with zero spices because it has a lot of herbs so that's flavorful enough you don't need to add spices but some people prefer with uh, cracked black pepper so uh, you, you you can try if it's not spicy enough for you or if you can use something like Tabasco uh, if you want so first we need to dice those tomatoes so you take a big sharp knife and you make a nice movement of the wrist just like this uh, uh, <laughs> It should work fine if you have a, a steady wrist. So uh, next we are going to dice our cucumber. So cucumber, uh, some people prefer it with skin, some prefer some people prefer it without skin. I've seen a lot of people uh, remove a half of the skin, like in bands, for taste and aesthetics. Personally, I prefer it without skin, so I'm gonna peel it right now. If you want to peel it really good, what you have to do is snap your fingers like this. There you go. Uh, practice your finger snapping for an optimal cucumber peeling experience. A quote for the ages. And now you have to dice it, so same thing as for the tomatoes. You take your knife and a nice movement of the wrist like this. One, two, three. Ha! And yeah, there it is. So uh, you add this to the tomatoes. So uh, what I've what I've done is I've, I've put the the tomatoes in a in a Tupperware, not in a salad bowl. Why? Uh, because I'm gonna eat this salad over the course of several days, and uh, I want it. Uh, I want the sauce to be more evenly distributed uh, in the in the salad. If I put it in a bowl, it's just gonna make a, a small puddle at the bottom. And I don't want that. Uh, if it's in the Tupperware, I, I can just shake the thing or, uh, you know, put it upside down 
once in a while and the sauce which is really important the, the sauce is the secret to this salad while uh, we want it to be evenly distributed so red onions or you know any onions work with uh, this salad i like the reds because of the aesthetics and because of the the taste uh, but really if you don't find red onions um, yellow onions or white onions will work there are a lot of uh, techniques to avoid uh, crying while uh, uh, dicing uh, those little bastards and I, I've tried all of them and uh, zero have worked so far none work it's uh, it's uh, really really bad all those life hacks about uh, cutting onions without crying they're all bullshit so what you can do what I, I, what is uh, ideal in my opinion is to think about something really sad you know whatever uh, is really sad to you and will make you cry so that if people uh, see you cry you you can say it's because of psychological distress like depression and anxiety and not because you're being a little bitch pussy that is physically weak uh, it's 2017 and psychological pain is much more socially acceptable than physical one. So go ahead, be sad and cry. And so uh, if people will see you cry, you can say it's unrelated to the onions. A real life hack. So uh, that's it. The, the onions are um, chopped nice and easy. And my eyes are perfectly fine. I just happen to be thinking about how um, Half-Life 3 will likely never be released within our lifetimes. And uh, curse you, Gabe Newell. <sighs> but yeah, my eyes are fine. And they don't hurt at all. It's um, just psychological pain for uh, from uh, Gordon Freeman deprivation and uh, lack of closure. We need to know the end of the story. God damn it, Valve! <sighs> anyway, let's move on to the herbs. Uh, I got nothing special to say about the herbs, though. Uh, just uh, chop them uh, nice and... Um, well, I like if they're uh, diced uh, not too finely. Uh, I, I try to... Um, Try to keep uh, big chunks, especially of the parsley. It's uh, I don't think it's really good if uh, you chop it too finely. <sighs> yeah, keep that parsley uh, and, and big. Uh... Yeah, make make uh, chop the the parsley. Uh, with, uh, make big chunks, make uh, big big pieces. I, I don't, I don't know how to speak English anymore. Damn it! Let's move on. So uh, that's what I meant. I don't, I don't know if you can see really well on video, but uh, parsley, uh, grossly chopped. You, you gotta have some big bits. Uh, that's how it is good, in my opinion. And please don't use curly parsley. Uh, it's it's the 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 spawn of the devil. It's uh, curl curly parsley. Uh, I'm, I'm, I hope that's how you you say it in English. But you know the parsley that's not like this, but curly. So you already know what the fuck it is. Uh, don't use that. It's it's awful. Don't use that at all. So here's the deal with the cilantro. You need it finer, but still pretty coarse. You don't want to make too small bits. Because uh, that's not good. Now, the mint. Uh, chop it as finely as you want. It's better if it's quite fine. Not too fine, obviously, because that's bullshit. Uh, you can use um, special scissors. That can be nice. And uh, here's a piece of advice uh, that I uh, that I uh, that I take from uh, Mr. Gordon Ramsay himself, inventor of the food. If after you're done chopping your herbs, there is some green juice on your chopping board, then you fucked your herbs, and you've ruined the taste. So let's let's take a look. Yeah, so you see no juice, just a few droplets. It means that most of the taste will remain in uh, the herbs. Which is what we want. So, uh, yeah, don't overchop. 
your herbs and please never use a blunt knife sharpen it right before you use it so i've put everything in there um, will be easier to uh, mix uh, afterwards when i need the, to mix which i'm gonna do by hand and here i have my olive oil which i'm gonna add a fuckload of because you really need it to be uh, you know lubricated and slippery because uh, it's it's easier to uh, to eat then life hack for you at home and lemon juice same you use a uh, good generous helping of lemon juice don't skimp on the lemon juice it's what makes this salad so good so that should be enough now I'm gonna use both my hands to make that mix that nice and easy now we have got our perfect salad right here and to finish it off and give it that perfect touch you need something salty so there are two equally good options either you use olives uh, my favorite to use in that recipe are the big purple ones called Kalamata they're perfect for this recipe uh, but you can also use black olives or uh, olive mix or something like that or you can use uh, feta which is what I'm gonna use today because I'm all about that cheese so this amount should be enough you, you really don't want to overpower the salad uh, with the feta it's not a, it's not a good idea and there we are the perfect summer salad now uh, to finish you put it in the fridge for an indeterminate amount of time so it's really chilled there is an interesting variation that i tried once uh, where you add melon to uh, the salad like cantaloupe and it works really well it's really damn nice um, especially if you use the feta uh, version with the olives a bit less uh, fitting but it can work too especially with the kalamata and uh, that's it enjoy tell me what you think about it tell me if you would make a change or if it's perfect like that or if you have to a perfect summer salad recipe let's chat in the comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching Peace. So uh, a little bonus uh, to end this video. I'm making the version uh, with melon because I, I, I still have, I still got some. Uh, left I couldn't fit all of it inside the Tupperware. So uh, here is what I got. It's called a Santa Claus melon aka Christmas melon. So uh, for the perfect summer recipe, it sounds really ill suited, but it's it's a really great melon especially for this recipe. It's got the shape and the texture of a watermelon, but it's got a taste of a cantaloupe albeit uh, less sugary so uh, it's uh, it's perfect it's it's firm uh, it's uh, it's got really the the, the right um, balance uh, of sugar and, and uh, everything else basically and uh, this is the melon that I would ultimately recommend to use for this salad the Christmas <laughs> the Christmas melon for the the summer salad that's so ironic Anyway, if Anthony Fentano is not available, that is the melon that I would recommend using. Christmas melon. That's it. Peace.